Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting brand new visual effects tutorial. So today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a sci-fi machine and bring a lightsaber from out. So then why late? Let's get started. Okay guys, now we're in Adobe After Effects CC 2015 and let's import our footage yeah here and make sure the JPEG sequence is checked hit import yeah and drag it into your new composition well this is my footage so and now what we're gonna do here is we have to track the camera and insert a 3D model and get a lightsaber out from that so in order to do that just select the layer and right click here click track camera and wait until the camera tracks perfectly actually my footage is 165 frames so I think so it may take around 1 to 2 minutes be patient and now it's all in the camera Yes, the camera solving is completed. And now, just scrub through the timeline. Uh, maybe go to third second and select this area and right click here. Oh, not this one. Uh, maybe go a little bit forward. Uh, select this one. Yeah, right click here and create solid and camera. Yes, and now. Uh, let's create a new solid and name it as element hit ok and go to effect go to video copilot go to element and go to scene setup and go to motion design and select technical components and select this one yeah and this one and the next and this one and this one yes and hit ok yes and then what we wanna do here is just go to group 1 create a group node and drag the element layer below the track solid and press P on your keyboard by selecting the track solid and again P on the group node to reveal the position properties and select the track solid and click on the position press ctrl c on your, copy, on your keyboard to copy the position and press ctrl v to paste and again press r and r ctrl c to copy the track solid orientation and ctrl v to paste the orientation that's pretty good and now just for now i'm going to dis disable the track solid yes and select the rotation tool and rotate it the scene well, I'm going to scale it down a bit. Yeah, that's enough. And I'm going to rotate this. Yes, and I'm going to scale it down a little bit. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Just take it a little bit far. Yeah. Yes. And now, if we hit play, let's see what happens. Yes, and now here we can see that the, uh, the tracking is perfect and the model is not moving here and there, it's just fixed to the ground. So, in order to make the shot more realistic, we just add some shadows and uh, bring a realistic look to the shot. So to do that, just go to the element layer, go to scene setup, and zoom out a little bit, create a plane, and increase the size of the plane. Yeah, that's enough. Yes, and I go to presets, go to physical, and then drag the match shadow onto the plane. Yes, nothing happens. Then hit OK. Go to render settings, 
and click on Nine Medical Fusion and enable the AO and then increase it a little bit. Yeah, that's enough. And now go to Shadows, enable the shadows. Well, nothing happens. Why? Because we didn't create it any light. So then go to a layer, create a new light, and make it as a parallel light. Make it white. Make the light intensity to 100%. And make sure the cache shadows are checked. If it doesn't check the cache shadows, then you cannot see the shadows. So if you check this, then you can see the shadows. Then hit OK. Well, nothing happens. Yes. Why? Because the light direction is in another position. So we're gonna fix that. Go to top position. No. Go to front. Yeah. No, not front. Go to top. Yes. And bring this light into the camera. Actually, this is our camera. And previously, the light is behind the camera. So what we're gonna do here is just bring the light in front of the camera and go to active camera see now we can see the light here yeah and uh, just increase the height of the light move the light to the side a little bit and now here change this direction to here ah uh, here we can see the shadows well that looks pretty nice and bring the light a little bit far I think Mm, the shadows is enough. Yeah, yes. Where's the light? Yeah, bring it top of the layer and increase the distance of the shadow a little bit. I think so. This is enough. Yes, okay. Uh, you know. The light color is white and it doesn't match to the scene. So what we're gonna do here is just select the light, go to layer and go to light settings and change the light color to this uh, green color. See, we can see some change here. So if I increase the intensity, we can see a little bit green color on the model. I increase the, the intensity. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, let's play this with the shadows. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So, okay, and now what we're gonna do here is just animate this tip of the machine. So, in order to do that, go to Element, go to Scene Setup, and zoom in a little bit. I think so, this is here, not this one, not this two, yeah, this is here select the box icon and uh, where is that I think so it's center yes right click on the center go to auxiliary animation select channel 1 hit OK and then go to group 1 go to auxiliary channels go to channel 1 and you can see right uh, yeah now you can see the tip of the machine just uh, move that to inside a little bit yeah that's enough go to second frame and check the position there and go to third frame and make a zero now make a negative yeah I think so this height is enough for us yeah and now enable the rotation press U on the element layer and simply do repeat the same process uh, where is that yeah it's here uh, just rotate the scene not here go to this frame and rotate that a little bit yeah that's enough and you can press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframe properties and select the both three keyframes and right click here go to keyframe assistant select easy ease in so what it does means by creating the easy ease we can get the smooth animation so let's play once again uh, and now we can see the gun is coming out from the machine and by rotating and, and by coming to this frame it is slowly slowing down Yes, 
And now the next step is creating a flare on the tip of the gun. So in order to do that, right click here, create, oh, let's close all these, yeah, right click here, create a new solid, and rename it as the optical flare, and hit OK, go to effect, go to video code pilot, go to optical flares, and go to options, and I'm gonna disable all these reflections, uh, disable this one, this, and this, 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 this. Ah, that's enough. Then hit OK. And now select on the black to screen, not not screen, it's transparent. Yeah. And we have to animate the position of the optical flare according to the machine. So in order to do that, go to, uh, I think so, 2.1, no, go to 3. Uh, increase the brightness of the flare a little bit yes and make a keyframe and also keyframe on the position and press U on the keyboard by selecting the optical flare flare yeah and then go to few frames forward Go to select the optical flare and drag the position of the optical flare and keep it right over here. Go to uh, like this, just animate the optical flare according to the scene and the movement of the machine. everything is perfect but here our flare should appear along with the tip so what we're gonna do here is just select make a keyframe on the brightness and go to a few frames forward and decrease the brightness I think so it's here yeah and just make it completely zero yes so and now, what we have to do here is just increase the brightness according to the movement of the machine. Uh, make a keyframe here and increase the brightness a little bit. Oh, no. We play this let's see the final preview of this Well, that looks cool. So, and then next we have to make a, a saber coming out from the light. So, what to do that? Go to create a new solid and just rename it as this saber. So, we need an energy coming out from the light. So, just simply create a solid and name it as saber. And go to effect vehicle pilot, select saber. Yes, and then uh, select the. Actually, there are a bunch of options in this. So, for this shot, I mostly recommend the uh, hardcore. And now, just select the saber, click on normal, and make it add. That looks pretty nice. So, and now what I'm gonna do here is just uh, Alt left click on the core start. Yes, and uh, go to optical flares, press U, and drag the pick pip icon here, and parent that to the position of the optical flares. Good. So what it does means, it will start from the, it will use the position properties of the optical flare, and it will start from that. 
So and now we have to animate the position of the tip of the core. To do that, select the saber, press U on the keyboard. Oh, nothing happens. Why? Because we didn't have any keyframes on it. Uh, make a keyframe right over here. Yeah. Press U. Yes. And just try start animating the position of the saber from right over here. Yes. Uh, get a few frames forward. Uh, here. And then go to optical flare. Press U on the keyboard. And actually we have to animate the position of the optical flare. Ah, yeah, it seems pretty good. And now just animate the core. So, uh, I think so. After coming, the, after the gun coming out from the machine, at this second it should char it should start creating energy. So to do that, what we're gonna do here is just select the saber and go to customize core and decrease the end offset. Yes. Press U on the saber. Mm, yeah, yeah, yes. Make a keyframe on the end offset right over here and press again U on the keyboard to reveal the keyframe properties of the end offset. And go to few frames forward and make it zero. Yes. If we play this, it looks like the saber is coming out from the flare. If I can play this, boom, that looks pretty good. So, but something is missing here. So, that is just adding a shockwave element in between the saber and the light. Just drag the shockwave footage onto the composition. Yes, and now just scale it down a bit. Yes, and go to time, time stretch, and make it 15. Hit OK. Yes, and then now what I'm gonna do here is just select the shock wheel and hit normal to add. Yes, and now go to select the shock. Uh, whoa, 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 make the shock with a 3D layer and hit AA on the shock wheel and disable the accept shadows and switch off the accept lights okay and then now what I'm gonna do here is um, wait before it releases the energy core we must see the shock wave just scale down the shock wave a little bit And rotate the shock wave to the, according to the scene and make it a back and make it a bow to the layer and press P on the shock wheel make a keyframe on the position and uh, bring the shock wheel right over here Actually, we should, we should see the shock wave here. Yes. And now just animate the position of the shock wave. Uh, bring it right over here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and now we have to just change the color of the shock wheel. Go and select the shock wheel and go to effects and presets. Actually, instead of going that, we can get the effect from here. Go to effect, video, o. go to effect, video, go pilot. Go to VC color vibrance. Yeah, and change the green color to blue. Uh, instead of that, we can get the. Yeah, that's enough. And now, let's hit play. Keep the shock wheel below the saber. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yes, and now it looks pretty good. Yes. Okay, actually we can play with the saber, we can do many changes to the saber and we can add some distortion waves and flickering and anything whatever you want. So we can add some wind speed and wind direction and noise speed and also noise scale. Well, if we increase this, we can see here the increase of the noise scale and increase the distortion amount a little bit and core distortion here we can see the uh, distortion amount well that looks too weird and so the wind speed and wind direction noise speed and noise bias yeah that looks pretty nice if we play this, here we can see a realistic core coming out from the machine. Well, this looks too bad. What we're gonna do here is just reveal the changes. Yes, that looks nice. So if we play from the starting, let's see the result. Yeah, here we can see the machine is coming out from here and it's generating a light and releasing the saber with the shock waves. See, well that looks pretty nice. So in order to sh make the shot more reality and to make the tracking too perfect what we're gonna do here is select all the layers and right click here select pre-compose and just leave the pre-compose one yes and then go to effects and presets and then type here after shake uh, make sure that you selected the pre comp one and select the after shake yes so what it does means it will actually shakes the footage so uh, no 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 make it a little bit no actually disable all these settings and go to P press P on your keyboard and select the pick whip icon hold on alt and click on the position and then type here wiggle 2 comma 20 yes and then here just scale down the footage a little bit and now let's hit play let's see now here we can see the footage is moving and it's not stable like it's just moving like a, a man is taking the camera towards the drone Actually, you can add some color correction and color grading according to your footage or your idea. So, okay. Uh, anyway, this is the process of creating this type of effect in After Effects by using the Motion Design Pack and the Element 3D and some Shockwave elements and the Saber elements. So, actually, this is the end of the tutorial. So, I have another thing to you. Yeah, this is this one. So this would be my next tutorial on how to create a beautiful sky by inserting some space images and Mars and galaxies. Here we can see uh, the nebulas, everything perfect. So this would be my next tutorial how to create a real sky advanced and sky replacement. Okay guys, anyway, my name is Bert Kumar from Motion Studio. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from this. If you think that you learned something new or something special, simply hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to be get updated whenever we upload new tutorials. 
by the way thanks for watching